But we got some uh, some initiative here. Mm -hmm. And I got a five. Ooh. All right. Three. Two, three. Hey, I go first. You that go. means I actually get three, three more command assets for a total of one. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. And which seems very appropriate. Andrew happened to have the reinforcements card, so he's going to actually bring back some knob bikers into his, uh, into his deployment zone here. Now, he does have to roll a d12 and uh, roll over the power rating. Um, and then he can bring in nine inches from um, basically any table edge. So go ahead. That's, Ten. Yeah, yep. definitely over the power yeah, So he, he is good there. So uh, he can bring it in basically uh, within nine inches of any battlefield edge and more than nine inches away from any enemy unit. And we just realized we forgot to do damage for the little squeaky. So he's got a seven up save here. So go ahead. Yeah. And that's going to be... Four. So both damage goes through and now he's got to do a morale save as well. Yeah. Four, adding two to this. Roll yep. Four or less. Six. So he's going to have three damage. Total. Apparently, two wounds is actually enough to kill the uh, little squeaky. So uh, basically, those burner boys inside of it now got to just basically pile out and uh, face the wrath of someone. So we revealed our orders. The spearhead over here is just going to take aim. The sisters will take aim as well. Oh, I forgot about this guy right here. Uh, he was going to take aim. Okay. So that, that's what he was going to do. Yeah. Ultramarines are going to advance. Uh, super heavy detachments going to advance over here. Uh, the Grey Knights will advance, and it looks like Zargsnark and the Supreme Command, or sorry, Zagstruck and the Supreme Command are going to uh, assault. Well, now that it hasn't moved, he can act, they yeah. can actually jump off the truck. Oh, but I'm going before you this time. Could happen. So, uh, then we got some uh, advance over here for the uh, this big unit. Yeah. Um, advance for the uh, for the uh, uh, purifiers and everything, because they had to get out of the, the store, uh, Thunderhawk. Yeah. And then uh, take aim for the Thunderhawk oh, itself. And, um, Oh, and then the uh, the bikes over here are going to be uh, assaulted. I'm going to start with the Thunderhawk because my basic game plan is to try and kill the Squig Gargantua and Squigoth and force the Supreme Command to use their move thing to disembark. That's my game plan. Turbo laser into the Gargantua and Squigoth needing a two to hit and a three to wound. And that's a three. And hey, would you look at that? That's a one. Paralyzed cannons hitting on two. So they're both going to hit. And these are wounding on fives. So one wound with a Laz Cannon strikes twos and sixes against Squigoth. So that's a one and a five. So that's going to be one hit. And need a six to wound. That's Roll caught. It. Eight. Okay, so that small template will become a large. Some twin side cannon shots, four shots into the tank busters, trying to just deal enough to put one more large uh, marker on them. Yep. And that's going to be some wound, or hits there. Five to wound. And that's going to be one large marker on it, which should be enough to take him out at the end of this turn. The other four side cannon shots are going to go into the, uh, what is that, a Big Mac? Big Mac. All right, two's the hit. And that's four hits. And six is because of the custom force field. And that's going to be one large and one small. I got this one. That's all the shooting from the uh, Thunderhawk. So the Vanguard's going to activate. The burners are going to stay where they are just so they can start shooting. The Storm Boys are going to basically fight back. The big mech is getting into combat. These knobs and knob banner have actually jumped out of the Gargantuan Squigoth. Yeah. The uh, truck here is stuck where it is. The Luda, or sorry, the uh, tank busters are basically going to stay where they are and shoot some stuff. And then this tank has just moved back a little bit, so we're going to get into the shooting. Four shots from the tank busters into the Thunderhawk. What do you need? Uh, I need five. Okay. So, and we roll that one and two. Yep. There you go. So three hits. Seven to do some damage. So that's 8, 8, 10, eight, and, ten and 6. So that's going to be one large. Big Judah into the Purifier Squad. One shot, hitting on a 5. Yeah. Nothing. Tank Busters going into the uh, Thunderhawk. Two shots, hitting on 5s. Are these heavy? Uh, no. Okay. So go ahead. So that's definitely a cock die right there. Mm -hmm. And reroll that one. Mm -hmm. So you reroll both. Yeah, reroll both. So 6, six and 5. 7's to wound. So 12, 12 and 11. Truck is going to combat into the uh, interceptor unit. Yeah, so he's hitting on fours because of the log banner. Go ahead. That's going to be a two, so it's going to miss. That's Big Mac with his one attack, hitting on a two. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And three, that'll hit. Yeah. on eights. No. no. Four sluggish shots going into these purifiers over here. Hitting fives. I see two hits. Two Sevens hits. to wound. No. Nope. Nothing. Storm boys into the interceptors, needing twos to hit. Threes to hit. Threes to hit, okay. And I see two hits. Seven's to wound. One's gonna be one small. And the burner boys are going to unleash hell on Drago. I'm sorry oh. about this, but Drago was actually killed last round. He only has one wound. So really? he should not actually be there. So 
So yeah. Activating the Grey Knight Battalion, they're just basically gonna consolidate in here and try and take out this giant mob of everything. Terminators are gonna go first. They're gonna put two attacks on the Burner Boys and two attacks on the Storm Boys. It's the Burner Boys, hitting on threes. Two hits, yeah. fives the wound. Hey, that's a large temple. Another two attacks onto the Storm Boys here. So one hit and one hit. So two hits total, even fives. And so one small temp, uh, marker. Strike Squad over here with two attacks. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do one and one, because I wanna try and kill as many units as I can. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so threes against the Burner Boys. Okay. Hits. I'm just gonna do the Strike Squad, or Storm Squad as well. So they're both gonna hit. So the Burner Boys is going to, uh, yeah, that's gonna wound on a six. And then the other one, is 11, so that's actually going to uh, upgrade this to a large and put a small one on uh, the Burner Boys. Two attacks from the Interceptors, one's gonna go into the Big Mech and one is gonna go into the Storm Boys here. Mm -hmm. So the Big Mech is not gonna hit and the Storm Boys is not gonna hit. Two attacks from this Strike Squad going into Zagstruck mm -hmm. and one will hit, resulting in a wound. Four attacks from the Terminators into the Squigoth. So does that mean if I have a big one? So three hits against uh, the Squigoth, seven to hurt the Squigoth. Uh, eight and a four and a five. And the Dread Knight going into the Squigoth. Two attacks needing five, or sorry, two attacks hitting threes. Needing threes rather to hit. And fives to wound. So two and a six. So that small template's gonna become a large one. And that is the end of the Grey Knight uh, detachment. So we're gonna go into Andrew's next activation. Three big shooters into the Devastator squad. What do you need to hit? Uh, I need, uh, now I need sixes. Need sixes because it is a heavy weapon? And nothing. Critical damage, Super Gatler. So six attacks, go, or six shots going into the dev squad again. Is yeah. this heavy? Yeah, yeah, it's all heavy. Okay, so even sixes. And I see one. Two. Oh, scratch that, two hits. Yeah. Six to wound. Bring it on. Yeah, that's gonna be a large. Scorcher into the dev, needing a seven to wound. That'll do it. Yeah. Three shots from the death cannon into the Thunderhawk. Sixes again. And I see a six. Yeah, Five to one. wound. That's got. And that's a one. Yeah. Gargantuan Squigoth with his six attacks is gonna split a two on the Nemesis Dread Knight, two on the Terminators, and two on Bobby G. Attacks against the Dread Knight, what are you hitting on? Twos. All right. His, uh, the banner. Okay. And needing a six to wound him. Bring it on. Yep, and that's, that's one small. And it's a destroyer, so that's two small. Okay, small. so two small. Ones. Against yeah. the Terminator, needing twos to hit. Yep, that'll do it. At uh -huh. four. And we got one small one, but it's destroyer. And last two against Bobby G here. One. Oh, one two hits. This is a win. Hey, oh. Bobby G remains unscathed. One unscathed. But now we have the tank to fire. Tank into the captain using his rockets. What do you need to hit? Fours. Okay. So I see two, two hits. Seven's to wound. All right. Nothing. An action. shooter going into the captain. Two shots. Like fours and then sevens. All right. So that's uh, nothing. And then that's... And that's six will hit because that was a, a cock die. Uh, yeah. And there's seven, that's gonna wound. First the yep. cannon into the Thunderhawk. What do you need to hit? Uh, I need uh, fours. Okay. So one seven hit. to wound. Yeah. Oh, actually no, it's a four to wound. Okay, four to wound. Five, so that's gonna be a small one. It's a destroyer. So it is destroyer, so it's gonna add two small ones. I'm gonna activate the sisters. Um, I do have a couple of units that are out of combat here, so they're gonna take aim. Um, and hope for the best. Exorcist is gonna aim in at the battle wagon here, needing threes to hit. Six and a three, they both hit. Fives to wound. So one small one. So over here, I thought uh, I wasn't actually in base contact there, but Andrew just informed me I was. So unfortunately, I'm taking a minus one with my combat over here with the Seraphim and the sisters. Seraphim into the war bikes. Miss and hit, seven to wound. Hey, at least it's a small uh, marker. And needing a four to hit. So one hit, and needing an eight to wound. Hey, okay, so that's gonna upgrade to a large at least. I will, however, end my sister's turn. Snaz waking into the Seraphim, hitting on four, wounding on 10. It's gonna be a three, so misses. The trike can be hitting on threes, wounding on uh, eights. That's gonna hit, and this is it gonna wound. Nope. nope. Defcop is six attacks going in on the sisters. Hitting on what, threes? Uh, yeah, hitting on threes. Yeah, hitting on threes and what they're wounding on? Uh, they're wounding on sevens. Okay, so threes and sevens. 
And that is going to be two. That's a one uh, large marker. Starts knock into this tax squad. It's one. Twos and sevens. So it's hit three, so hits, and means a seven to wound. Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. that's a nine. That's a nine. So now bikers, three attacks into the tactical marine squad. Uh -huh. So hitting on. Threes. And wounding. Um, sixes. Okay. So nothing. Not three. Six attacks into the war breakers, hitting on threes. And that's a lot of hits. Sevens. I see one. That one's cocked right there. Oh, okay. So I see two. So one large storm raven is going to activate. Uh, stupidly, I decided to take aim and not move. So melty melt is out of range, and the hurricane bolter is out of uh, rapid fire. So two shots into the lutus here, hitting on threes. One hit. Seven to wound. Hey, that's a wound. Twin lads, two shots going into the battle wagon, hitting on threes. Both hit. I have to wound. We got an 11 and 5, so that's going to be a large uh, marker. And the missiles are going to go into it as well, just for good measure. So threes, one hit. Oh. And... Hey, I think that's a wound. It is... Yes, it is. So that is going to be a wound. So that's going to upgrade the small one to a large. Okay. That ends that detachment. Shit. Critically injured Ludas are going to fire into, what, the Storm Raven? Storm Raven. All right. So we're going to get uh, four shots on this one. And so, what are they hitting on? Uh, threes? They're hitting on... No. Fives? Can't. So they're hit because they're, oh yeah. So they're not heavy, so five. But because the standard shoot would be fours. Okay, so it becomes fours. Yeah. Okay, so roll the dice. Uh, two. Two hits. Seven's okay. a wound. One. Oh yeah, that's enough. Four shots from the uh, Morkinod into the dev squad for the big shooter. So hitting on fours. Hitting on fours, okay. So I see uh, one hit, one. seven to wound. That's an I'll do it. the Megazappa into the Storm Raven here. Needing fours to hit and fives to wound. So fours. So one hit. And one hit. Supercharged shot. So roll away. Now the coconut firing some rockets into the storm raven here. So hitting on fours because of take aim. Yeah. And one, one hit. One hit. Seven to wound. No, it won't do it. Seth Storm mega shooter now going into the storm raven. Scratch that. He's gonna go into the exorcist tank. And he's hitting on fours. Fours. I see two, four. Wow, that's actually not too it's bad. It's a wound. All right. Enough for a large. Big shooters into the exorcist as well to try and do a little bit more damage. So fours. And that's going to be three hits. It's a yeah. wound. Twelve. And I see one. One. Bad two. rock in the flash gets. He's gonna hitting go on into a three. Storm Raven. He's hitting on a three. Yep, hitting on a three. Got yep. it. Um, wounding on. A seven. Okay, fire away. Nine. Shots from the flash gets into the exorcist and threes to hit, six is a wound. Or sorry, eight's a wound. Eight. Go ahead. Yeah. Alright. I'll re reroll the one because of yep. bad rock. That's gonna be two hits. Three hits, needing eights to wound. And I see and that's, nine. that's one nine over there, so that's gonna be another small, so two large on him now. Yep. Battle wagon is gonna shoot stuff into the cap. Four big four. shooters hitting on fours. Ah uh, yeah, hitting on fours. Yep. Yeah. And I see uh four hits, seven okay. wound. I see one, one wound. Yeah. Lava going into the captain as well. So I'm a four. A hit. Four to hit. Nothing. Okay. Kill and cannon going into the storm raven. Yeah. So hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. So it's a five and a four. Two hits. Six to wound. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a wound. Gonna yeah. activate the ultramarines and we're gonna start with uh, Bobby G going into uh, going into Squiggy. Yeah. Two is to hit. Yep. Four is to wound. Two wounds, and it is destroyer, so that's going to cause uh, two small ones. That's actually going to result in two big ones. Venerable Dread going into the Stompa, needing twos and fives. So two and three, so those are going to hit and need fives. But Bobby G re gives the reroll, so there's going to be two wounds, so one large. And then over here, we got the Death Squad going into the Stompa, so the last cannons hitting on threes. Yep, wounding on fives. Nothing. Okay. Hitting on threes. Yep, and wounding on sixes. That's gonna be another large. One attack from the tactical squad. Gonna go into uh, Zig Struck, I guess. Just gonna try and kill him. That's definitely cocked. That's gonna hit. And that's not gonna wound. That brings to the end of the Ultramarine. So we have the Supreme Command Detachment from the Orcs to go now. Yeah. Big shooter from Thraka going into the captain. Hitting on? Uh, fives. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. It struck into the strike squad. Yeah. Hitting on two. Yep. Yeah. Hitting on seven. 
Nope, nothing. Okay. That ends that, and that's gonna bring me to my Vanguard squad, and they're just gonna unload into the. <coughs> Uh, you know what, I, I'm not even going to bother because we're calling it at the end of this turn anyway. So we're going to do cleanup, find out what the final tally is, and see how this turned out. Starting with the Storm Raven here, what are we looking at? Oh, I think that's uh, that's going to be at least one wound there. Yeah, one wound and one save. Exorcist tank. Oh, she did. Extra squad. Oh, they live. Wow. The Storminator squad. Uh, they, yeah, they're fine. The Dread Knight. Is gonna take a wound. Interceptor squad is fine. Thunderhawk, bunch of five up saves. And let's see, gonna take two damage. Five up on the Seraphim. Nope, they're dead. And the uh, and the uh, tactical. No, oh, they they saved. Yeah, yeah, they saved already. Uh, Dev squad got two six ups. Nope, they're dead. And then the captain is also gonna take a wound, which probably is gonna kill him. And a six up on the tax squad. They continue to live. Wow. Top save for the Ludas. Hey, I got the Ludas. They are dead. Two six up saves for the truck. Huzzah. Oh. One failed one. Uh, how many wounds does it have total? So it has three, so it's got one left. So it's alive. Warbikes can't save, so they take it on the chin. Uh, nothing over <clears> here. <throat> Two on the Stompa. Stompa. So what are you looking at here? Uh, sixes. Okay. Nope. Stompa takes two more, which That'll I think- That'll kill the Stompa. Okay, Stompa goes down. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better about things. Squiggy can't save any of them, so nope. Squiggy goes down. So, yeah, Squiggy will go um, down. So we have uh, Zark Snark. Oh, yeah, so he's got one. Yep. Uh, he's on a six. Okay. Uh, he's fine. He rolled yeah, 11. He's okay. Uh, then we have your Storm Boys. Yeah. So uh, it's one, a, on a D6. It's on a D6, okay. Uh, Can they yeah. actually save? No. Okay, so they'll take a wound. And then your Burner Boys, you have one on a D6, one on a D10. Uh, the D doesn't matter. Okay, so the Burner Boys are dead as well. And lastly, we have the uh, the Mech Boy and the Ludas. So Mech Boy has one D6, one D12. Okay, so the D12. All right. And Mech Boy's dead. Okay, Mech Boy is gone. And then the Ludas. The Ludas. Which uh, is a large one. Or uh, the, the Tank Busters. Yeah, sorry, the Tank Busters, They're which dead. is a large that's dead. They're dead. Okay, so in the end, uh, we're going to clean up this and we're going to see uh, what the final table looks like. And that is going to bring us to the end of this game because I think it's pretty clear where it's going. Uh, I mean, the Grey Knights can probably fight back a little bit here, but uh, given that uh, uh, Andrew is firmly in control of two of the objectives over here, and it's going to be hard fought for me to get an objective over here. That's three points I'm not going to be able to get. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to take out his last super heavy for uh, three points for that detachment. Uh, his Warlord, maybe. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, he already has his three points. Gilamon's pretty close to being killed. So was the, uh, the Thunderhawk. So I think that is pretty much going to be game. Uh, as it is, we've been gaming all night. We're very tired. So I <laughs> think... Yeah. Yeah, we're done? Yeah. Okay. Andrew, good game. Game. Sorry about so, the sweaty hand. No worries. So there you go, guys. That is the new apocalypse. I'm sure we got some rules wrong here. Definitely let us know about it in the comments below. Uh, I can't expect that this is going to be a regularly filmed thing, but this was a lot of fun to do in the meantime, uh, even with uh, a number of the janky rolls I was seeing there. Uh, but that is life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, be sure to leave your comments below, like and subscribe for more content. Your support is what helps me do this. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. And as always, happy wargaming.